How do we top off a vine? How do we start forming our cordons? Welcome to the Desert Wine Guy. Alright guys, welcome back to the Desert Wine Guy, August 14th, and it is turning out to be another very hot day here in Las Vegas. It's early right now, and I gotta get this video in before the heat comes. So, today we're gonna learn about how to top off a vine in order to start forming our cordons. Alright, so let's take it all the way down to the base of this particular vine. So, when you guys order your vine, it's going to be either dormant or non-dormant. Either way, it doesn't matter. So you can dig your hole. You can dig your hole wide enough for the roots to comfortably lay in the hole. You don't want them bound up in the hole. Okay, throw some water in there. Throw some soil on top. Throw a little bit more water, some more soil on top. You're, gonna, you're not going to pack hard these things, okay? You don't, want to, you don't want to pack the soil too hard. You just want to tamp it down, make it firm, and you'll be good to go. Once you, once you uh, level off your soil, you're good to go on that. Now for a while, you're not going to want to uh, cut off any branches, cut off anything growing, okay? Because you're going to want to be able to choose exactly what you want to make your main branch in order to grow up. Okay. So what are we looking for, Desert Wine Guy, for the main branch to grow up, okay? What we want is, um, one of the things you want to look for is a thick branch, okay? You don't want it too thin. You want it fairly thick, okay? Fairly healthy. You want to check where your buds are, okay? Let's look along here. See where your buds are, okay? We'll get a little closer on, on the buds. When I take you over to another vine, that's already been that's already been pruned and forming its cordons. So you want to check the spacing on your buds. You want to check the health of your buds. So by this time, when you've allowed a branch to be growing up already, I'm sure these leaves have come out and stuff like that. So you'll know what's healthy, what's not healthy. All right. So cut everything off. You don't need anything else. All this stuff down here actually um, should be cut off. It was cut off at one time. It needs to be cut off again. Now, I'm going to show you why I still have some of these here. Okay, here's the first port of part of our cordon, our lower cordon. Okay, I don't have anything yet for the upper cordon because I did just top this vine off. Topping the vine off, by the way, will make things like this push out, grow out. When you hear that term push out, it just simply means just grow on out, okay? Don't let it confuse you. So, originally what we had was we had this branch growing up, okay? I cut it off right here, as you can see. What's going to happen is that this is going to push out and become our cordon, our first cordon going along the wire over here, okay? Now, somewhere in here, hopefully, will be our second part of our cordon to push and grow along here okay um, by the way there's two things you're gonna need for this you need a small plastic bag throw out these excess leaves which we're gonna cut off and a pair of pruners okay now since I just did this today I haven't been here yet to cut off all these leaves all these leaves are excess folks all they do is drain energy away from where you want the energy to go which is your cordons. Okay, that's all it does. Now, as I said down here, I don't have a, a side cordon on this side, so I've left this to grow because right now there's nothing developing that looks like it could be a cordon. Maybe another week will change that now that I've topped it off. Now, 
let's go ahead and move on over to a vine I've already done I did this a couple of weeks ago and you can see there's a full set of there's a cordon growing here and the other side is growing right here again useless it serves no purpose other than to drain energy and take vitamins away from where you want them to go now I got the lower cord on over here growing and as you can see right here there's going to be another one right now it's a little small for me to put up on the wire and I'm really not 100% happy with how low it's starting so we'll give it a little bit and see if anything else crops up if there is and it's a little closer to our line I'll go ahead and do that but as you can see that's what it's supposed to look like that's what your cordon is supposed to look like once again at the risk of repeating myself all this stuff all these leaves and branches should be going they should not be here now if you want you can actually make cuttings of these okay so what you would do let's say you were going to cut in here you wouldn't cut too close to the main branch because what's going to happen is it's going to die back a little bit okay you don't want to interfere with the health and growth of that main branch so let's take for instance let's go up here and let's do this for instance let's say we were going to cut right here okay i would probably end up cutting right about here because this stuff's going to die back okay if you cut it cut it too far back you're going to kill this bud and you'll end up with nothing okay um what i've been able to do is i've been able to put them in some water for a little bit if i'm not ready to plant them if i am ready to plant them i just go ahead and put them in some soil and eventually they will take root put them out in the sunlight and they'll take root so that's about it guys i hope this helps uh there's really not much on the internet right now as far as helping somebody learning about grapevines and how to properly prune them i'm hoping this helps you guys um again this is tempranillo we're growing tempranillo right here we did have some grapes this year by the way but i, I do want to warn you first and second year of your vines you do not want any grapes cut them off i know it hurts but uh, as soon as you see them cut them off again you're just pulling energy away you want your energy to grow to go into the roots into the forming of the vine so i've got a few more i got to do this with as you can see back here i have that one that has to be topped off i have the one behind it it needs to be topped off and i got a couple of others that are ready it's kind of holding off some of these for the video it's been really hot and when i remember to do the video it's been like super hot outside so um uh, -uh that ain't happening so Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to the Desert Wine Guy. If you have any questions, any comments, just leave them here, and I will get back to you. So, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll speak to you later.